Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest! In the last episode... Um... Uh, oh, I'm, I'm struggling. Okay. In the last episode, we reached here, the village of Cole. And I decided to come back here last... After the last episode, because I had to save in between recordings. And while I was coming up here, I learned the glow spell. This will light up dungeons, so we no longer need a torch. Point of fact, I could probably just discard this one. Alright. Now... Uh, before we... Head to the next dungeon, and therefore the next town... There's something up here I think I want to show you guys. So, if we go up this way... According to my map, there's something... Yeah, there's this little shrine here. So let's go downstairs. What do we got? Hmm... So we need to give him an instrument that attracts monsters to get the Staff of Rain. Actually, I just know... I just so happen to know where we get such an instrument. It's actually back in Galenholm. But we're not gonna do that right now, because that would lead us to our certain demise. Alright, so... Let's head to the next town. Through that cave down there. Alright. Unfortunately, we have to walk through Poisonous Swamp. So, uh, you might want to watch your health while doing this. Let's check out the Mighty Glow spell. Yeah, it lights up an even wider area than the torch. Although it does wear off eventually. Anyway, we pretty much want to head due south. I don't think there's any new enemies in here. If there are, I'll... We'll probably see them. No, actually, no. I, I don't think there are any new enemies in there. Alright. So, here we are in a new part of the world. We are south of Coal. And south east of Tantagal. So let's head down. Oh, also, I took the liberty of depositing the fairy flute and a thousand gold in the bank of Tantagal. Just in case. Alright, here we are in the town of Rimmeldar. So, let's take a look around. So that's the guy Claire was talking about. And the woman next to Claire. Okay. So apparently they sell magic keys in this town. Okay, so south is the Sanctum. Hmm. Hey, what the? I'm talking to a black hole. Oh, uh, what's this guy got for us?
Well, uh, I'll be sure to do that. <clears throat> hmm, let's see. Ah, uh, Camaro Wang. No, you're not. You got your clothes on. <clears throat> Really now? Uh, we got a traveling merchant. But well, he just sells the same stuff that virtually any other merchant would sell. We've got the armory. Uh, ooh, steel broadsword. And a full plate. Doesn't look like we'll be getting those for a while. Well, I'll rest up at the end for a little bit. Okay, so... If you want to buy a magic key... Step very carefully along the outside of Rimmeldar. Unlike I just did. Okay, maybe that's not the way. Okay, yeah, you gotta go up here. Uh, Enid. Okay. This is where you buy magic keys. But first, let's find Enid's boyfriend, I guess. Okay, this is how you get to, uh, the Fairy Flute and Coal. I guess that's how you're supposed to know that. Ooh, money. And stat boosts. Hmm. Maybe I'll sell those Chimera Wings, actually. I haven't used them. And here's where you buy Magic Keys. 16 gold a pop. You can carry six. I'd recommend you carry six on you at all hand. At all times. So, now that we've got six magic keys. I'm gonna go back to Tantacle with this thing, the Camaro Wing. Alright, here we are back at Tantacle Castle. I say that like I had a cutaway, but I don't know. So, now we can open all these doors. Ooh, and we get another magic key. Three hundred thirty-seven gold. I quite like it. Here we have another merchant who will actually sell us more magic keys. But he sells them for slightly more gold. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, so... If we take a look at this floor, it'll actually damage us as we walk across it. Much more so than the poisonous swamp tiles. So, let's see. Okay. So that's how you're supposed to know that, uh, you're supposed to get to... Wait, what did he say? The 
grave of Galen. Okay, so it's in Galen home. It's where the Galen's harp is. Also, if you talk to this guy, he'll fully restore your HP. Pretty useful after having to, uh... Brave that highly damaging tile. I think that tile is the only kind of it's is the only kind you encounter in the game in this location. All right, let's head to Tentacle Castle Town. Hopefully, there's more goodies yet for us to plunder. You know, I like goodies. Who doesn't like good? Oh, I never noticed that guy. Oh. Well, it sucks to be you. Hmm, what do we got? Oh, uh, we can buy holy water, but considering you have to fight monsters for like 90% of the game, that's kind of counterintuitive. Open this door. And nothing useful. But he tells us about a golem being set to sleep by fairies, which is another hint involving the golem, the golems and fairy in the fairy flute. I cannot talk today. I'm gonna withdraw a thousand gold. And with that, I shall head back to Rimaldar. And. See what else we can do there. Alright. See you guys there. Oh, we got a new enemy. Beware, Wolf. He's just another vanilla enemy. It's pretty tough, though. For this point in the game. But, we finish him off nonetheless. And we're almost at Rumeldar, so that's good. Now... Let's see, let's buy ourselves a steel broadsword. And let's sell our uh, iron axe for a couple of gold. Alright. <clears throat> now that we've got all that, I want to start grinding for a full plate armor. So, I shall... Proceed to my grinding, and I will meet you guys back at Rimaldar later. Alright, we're back here at Rimaldar. Now that I've gotten over 3,000 gold, I'm gonna buy the full plate armor. And let's see, sell the iron armor for a little extra scratch. Alright, now that we've got all that sorted out, let me check my guide. Alright, so, I guess I could go south and grind there a little on screen, because there are some new enemies I want to show off, which I actually did run into while grinding, but... Not only was that off-screen, that wasn't even being recorded. So... Let's see... They're down in this area is where I encountered them. Ah, here's one. Scarewolf. I believe they can cast Fizzle, which will stop 
stop you from casting all spells. At level 10, you can learn Fizzle for yourself, so that's pretty good. Then down here... I actually didn't go down here, because I think there's extremely tough monsters in this area. But, I believe this, there was somebody talking about this guy. At the Sanctum. Huh. He just kicked us out. Oh well. So, we need proof of our birthright. And we have to fight the new enemy, Chimera. Leaving the original NES version, they were called Wyverns. And this thing's hitting like a motherfucking dump truck. Oh, jeez. If I don't kill this, he'll probably kill me. Okay, good, I killed it. That was kind of scary, actually. Alright, now let's head back up. And see... Ah, new enemy, Iron Scorpion. You can actually encounter them in the same area as regular Beware Wolves. The blue wolves, not the red ones. Well, actually, you can encounter them in the same area as the red ones, the Scare Wolves. But anyway, they're just scorpions with higher defense. Ah, uh, another new enemy, Skeleton Scrapper. They can cast heal on themselves. Making them a little more difficult to kill. But other than that, they're not too hard. Leave. We want to get to level 13. Ooh, we got another new enemy. Gold Golem. Uh, they hit pretty hard. But, they drop a whopping 650 gold coins. So if you ever need money, fight these guys. Just be very careful doing so. As if you are not careful, they could pretty easily kill you. I think that's about all we can talk about for new enemies for now. So, I'm gonna grind a little more off screen until I'm level 13, and I will meet you back at Tantacle. Alright, see you guys there. Wow! That was an ordeal. Alright, we're back here at Rimmeldar. I said I was going to meet you back at Tentacle, but first, I want to show you a few things. I got over 18,000 gold from all that grinding. Just to get to level 13. Also, we learned Evac, which will allow us to instantly escape from dungeons. And Zoom, which will take us back to Tentacle. So, let's use it right now. Alright, here we are back at Tentacle, and I just remembered I left something in Rimmeldar. Oh well, I'll just get it in the next episode, I guess. Anyway, if you remember earlier, some guy was talking about the dungeon being around here. So if you use the magic key, then we carefully walk along the outskirts of the castle. We can talk to this guy. And we get the Sunstone. Uh, 
Leave that herb there. Where metals, medicinal herbs aren't all that useful, actually. Buy another key. Now we got six. Talk to this guy to fully restore my health. HP, 61 MP. Not bad. So, let's go talk to the king and save. In the next episode, we'll be tackling the grave of Galen. Yeah. In Galen home. So, I will see you guys then.